I've had a pretty distressing thought. About Netanyahu, actually. Now check this out. Now I was looking through his bio. On Wiki. It's the thing I do. I do research. It's a thing. And I discovered that Benjamin Yahoo, Netanyahu wrote five books. Interestingly enough, the first one came out in my birth year. Is that important? Um, not that I know of, but maybe. But here's where it gets interesting. One. His second and third books. Second book, Terrorism, How, we, How the West Can Win, published in 1987. Third book, Fighting Terrorism, How Democracies Can Defeat Domestic and International Terrorism. Oh yeah, also, his fifth book happens to be an autobiography. Although it, unlike Vance's, as far as I know, didn't get made into a movie. Although if it got made into a movie, then Netanyahu saying those words, I'm not a topa. Mama not topa's mossy. Even more dangerously stupid than if Vance said it. And I'll tell you why. Because the fifth book by... Netanyahu didn't come out until 2022. If it got made into a movie, it only got made into a movie after 2022. Which means it is way less stable as a puritana to be threatening with that stupid idiocy than, than any other. Here's another messed up thought. Another messed up thing. Which may or may not tie into the goatee. Which may or may not tie into uh, the second point. Here's the thing. The reason I bring up the second and third book. Because it seems like he literally just rewrote his, his second book to make his third book. <coughs> Which will effectively make him a Zabdakor, a plagiarist worthy of himself. Now, is this a problem in terms of actual publishing and copyright law? No. No, it's not. It's his own work. He can sign his own work. He can rewrite his own work as a whole new book, and it's effectively exactly the same book, just with, like, some different word order. Maybe, like, a couple extra steps, basically. And, like, as far as the law is concerned, as far as publishing company is concerned, nothing's wrong. Except, he's now a Deviazad de Cora. Magically speaking, He's a plagiarist. Of himself? Um, yes. Does that matter? I think so. I think so. I think so. I really do. I can be wrong, like it's a thing, but... Where is I going with this? Tied back into... Oh, right, so, I forgot the thought I was, like, going to uh, visit into before I got back to the original point that I needed to finish, but the notion that he's a Zabdakora got me thinking. Now, he's kind of known for, like, well, atrocities against the Palestinian people. If he even wants. Especially in secret. Ordered a pregnant woman killed. And the officer or the soldier in question said, Sir, I can't do that. There's, like, she's pregnant. And he said, I don't care. Shoot through the kid. That makes him a garbara. He just does. It can't not. Oh, oh.
The Israeli flag has the seal of Solomon on it. Which means, if one were the prime minister of that country and a scumbag, that would mean you could probably actually get the Gotia that are all bound by the seal of Solomon to do whatever you want. Like, whatever you want. That ain't okay. That ain't okay, because it would mean he'd be able to screw over every other Gotia user who isn't him. Just because he happens to have access to the most powerful and widely recognized world round even if it's subconscious, perhaps especially if it's subconscious, representation of the Seal of Solomon. Like, that's so rude. That's so rude. That's unspeakably rude to the Godia. That's unspeakably rude to Solomon. It's so past being true rude. Now, Getting into how he might be, like, more than one of the enemies, since apparently he's a Zadokora and a, a Garbara, or at least potentially he has Garbara Tanmata, like, just from his, his, his known past, he has Garbara Tanmata. Thus, if he ever ordered waterboarding to happen, even once, Zvasiti, Zvasiti Tanmata, Zvasiti Tanmata Tanmata. Samasi. Breath enemy potential's there. It's just there. Now, oh, the other two. Horse enemy and poison enemy. Those two? I'm not gonna lie. I don't got, I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. I don't even have a theory at this point. I don't even have a theory for Tanmata. I don't even have a theory for potential. However, I haven't really even gotten into his biography yet. I noticed he was a writer, and that's, like, that got me interested. I went down to the bottom, and I read about his five books. That gave me the idea that he might have been, like, a Zabdakora of himself. And that's how I got into this core notion. So, like... I'm gonna go read some more. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe.